Hey, what's up? It's Lucas over at Manmade, and today I'm going to do a project with the brand new PowerMig 211i from Lincoln Electric. The project is something that you might remember from Maker Camp. You may recognize it if you were there or seeing some pictures uh, from people that were. And it was to take a plasma cutout kit and weld it together into a cool little tea light, commemorative little tea light holder. Uh, I didn't get a chance to participate in that at Maker Camp because I was actually teaching intro to MIG welding. So I have a kit that someone left and I'm going to put it together now using the 211. So some of the really cool features, I think the first and foremost feature I want to show is that it is dual voltage and it's voltage sensing as well. So that means that the cord that comes on the machine is an L650. It's a 220 volt 50 amp plug uh, for 220 volt welding. But if you want to use this on 110, it comes with this adapter. So this adapter receives the male 210 plug and here's just a regular old 120 volt plug. So you don't change the cord, you don't ch change any settings. It knows what voltage it's running at. For this project, since we're only going to be welding some 16 gauge, I'm going to run this off of 110. The majority of people that are going out and getting one of their first welders may not have 220. So I'm going to run this off of 210 just like everyone else would. All right, let's turn this thing on and I'll go over some of the basic operational features on it. Okay, so up here we have our voltage, we have our wire feed speed, knob for each one. We have a selector here to choose our wire diameter, and then we have a selector here for our process. And we have one final knob for material thickness. So what's really cool about this machine is, although it is a very simple, uh, essentially analog display, this is still a very powerful and intuitive functioning machine. So what I'm going to do is I'll tell it the wire diameter I have. So in this case, I've got 030 in it. And I'll tell you the process that I'm doing. So I've got it connected to C25 gas, so that is what's selected. If I wanted, if I was welding with C100, or if I was just welding with flux core, stainless gun, spool gun, etc., I would make that selection here. And then what's really neat is based on the voltage coming into the machine and the parameters that I've set, it now tells me, it gives me a range of material thicknesses that I can weld with the given parameters. So in this instance, I'm going to be welding 16 gauge, so I'm going to move my dial over and look for the 16 light to be blinking, that's the indicator. And what you're going to notice is, as I turn this knob, the parameters for voltage and wire feed speed also change. Now of course I can go in and I can manually change these things, I can do whatever I want, but if I want to go back to the auto set feature, I just flip back, and we're back to the settings that Lincoln suggests. On the front of the machine, we've got our positive and negative. DINs connectors and our actual MIG torch connection. So I'm going to go ahead and get my ground cable put in here and I'll go ahead and ground the table. All right, let's talk about the MIG gun. That's the last thing we'll touch upon here. It's a Magnum Pro 100, a little bit smaller than the gun that you'd get on the 210 or 215, uh, but it is still a Magnum Pro, very comfortable, very ergonomic, and uses the same tips that the rest of the Magnum series guns use. All right, now before I start welding, a couple very important things. Always have your proper PPE on hand before you start welding. So I've got my hood right here. Underneath my hood, I'm still going to wear my safety glasses. I've got my welding gloves right here. But what about my arms? Still got all this space in between that I can get burned, I can get arc flash, I can get anything. So I'm going to put on my jacket. Okay, now, so when I put my gloves on now, Full coverage, nowhere for the sparks to go. The other important thing here is this. So this is the hose from my fume extractor. This is something I use every time I'm welding because I want to keep that caustic, that acrid smoke out of my lungs. So I'm going to use this so it sucks up all that smoke and all the fumes and filters it through several HEPA filters. This keeps the air I'm breathing much cleaner and keeps my surroundings clean as well. Okay, so here are some of the pieces that I'm going to be putting together today. Um, this originally, this kit originally was made to be a bend together, like bend it up and yeah, just tack it. And the reason that I have this is somebody bent it a little too many times until it all came apart. Get everything tacked together. Hold it out. 
Bye. take this to my grinder, I'm going to clean it all up because I want to get this thing totally painted, powder coated, and I want it to be perfectly smooth. So, got it all welded up here. I'm very happy with the way this machine welds. So, these were just the auto set settings for the uh, 16 gauge that the machine has built in. So, these are just this is just welded totally with auto set. I'm very happy with the way this welds. Let's go clean it up. Okay, so I brought it over the grinder, got all my welds cleaned up, all my corners cleaned up, and all the surfaces cleaned up as well. Anyway, I'm really happy with the way this came out. The idea of these, you know, fold up and weld together little kits to make cool things. I think the idea is awesome. This was a fun project. This is the kind of thing that anyone can do regardless of experience and skill, as told by uh, the Learn to Weld tent at Maker Camp that we had. We had people come by the tent that had never welded before, and they were able to leave with a sturdy, put together, tea light holder and go clean it up on the grinder and feel like they made something and it was inspiring to them to be able to just go out and feel like they could get a welder and make cool little projects like this. I think that is a huge selling point for this 211. It's a great price, really easy to use, very powerful and very well-rounded machine. This is a fantastic example of the kind of project that anyone can go out and do. Thank you so much to Lincoln for um, providing a machine for this project. I was really excited to get the 211 in here and get to using it. This is gonna be a super handy, portable machine for me that I can just grab and go wherever I need. Uh, I think it's a great machine for the beginner as well. I think it makes for a really accessible product and it lets you do awesome projects, you know, for anyone out there that's just wanting to get into welding. For more info on the 211, click the link down below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, the link down below, instagram.com slash manmadema. And also shout out to all the companies that have helped out the shop and, and kept me going. So thank you to all of them and check out links down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.